Abby from Make Life Your Own Way, and I'm here with my weekly makeup bag. Yay. Yes, we are gonna shop my stash, pick products to use for the upcoming week, and review some of the products from last week. So if that sounds like something you would like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Y'all, I got to film this before I sit down, because it's that type of day, it's Thursday. Thursday, what time? About 8 p.m. It's the type of day that when I sit down, nothing else is gonna happen. You know what I mean? We had work per usual. I didn't teach my fitness class. I usually teach body pump on Thursdays, but we had our senior award scholarship night, and uh, it was fun. It went really well, but I am exhausted. Jared is exhausted, and I slammed my hand. I don't know if you can see it. Um, Definitely a bruise forming. I was pulling a table across the stage and I was like pulling it backwards and I didn't realize there there was a part of the wall sticking out so my hand just like slammed, slammed into that wall. And it was like not like an immediate pain, you probably can't even really see it, but like kind of the type of pain that afterwards you're like, oh that's gonna hurt. <laughs> But anyways, um, so sorry you have to look at that this week. Alright, so this week on the channel, a Target haul went up. Woody woo! Go check her out. Next week will be a Sephora haul. What what? And I have some collabs with other YouTubers coming up. Hey, hey. So I'm super excited for you guys to see those. But until then, you're just stuck with me and only me. Alright, so this is makeup that is new to me ish. Some of it I've used like once or twice, but um, I like to pick a few things from here, but not too much. I believe these are what we chose out from in here last week the Flower Beauty Hydrating Primer. Really like this, super solid. I don't have any problems with it. We'll move it to my collection. And then this, this is the Wet n Wild uh, Glamour, my Glamour Squad. Y'all. <laughs> The first time I use this palette, I only use the shimmers, and the shimmers are nothing to write home about, so I'm like, y'all been hyping, I mean not you, you, but like YouTube, y'all been hyping some $5 palette to me, and this is what it is, but then, y'all, the next time I used it, I used the mattes, and these mattes are in incredible, definitely worth the $5, really nice quality, I like to put this first in my transition and then either mix these two together or these two together and this black is very black I didn't use this dark brown um, I kinda stayed away from the shimmers because they're just kinda like meh. I mean they're no like Juvia's Place or ColourPop or like you know other affordable obviously those aren't as affordable as Color or Wet n Wild but I mean it's just like meh. So once you blend that out on your eye, like, nothing is really happening. But without that, I mean, with that said, <laughs> um, the mattes are so nice. And the mattes alone make this palette worth it. So I did pair it a lot with the other thing I pulled from here last week. I did pair it a lot with the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions. And I really enjoyed this. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm going to use it for tomorrow for work. And then we'll put it back. But love it. And these shimmers are, like, stunning. But obviously there's... A big price difference so we can't really compare them but I really do enjoy this so um, we'll just keep that for one more day all right so from this drawer I want to pick a couple of things first being this Catrice light illusion brightening this is a yellow loose matte powder <laughs> and I love this for under the eyes and spoiler alert I'm almost done with one of my project pan items um, you can probably guess which one. So I need another under eye setting. So this might, like my makeup basket is slowly becoming products that don't change. So I need to like, I don't know, but I feel like that's going to be something that just lives in there. And something else, I've used this a few times, um, but I want to go back to it. This is the Flower Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear. Mine's an Ivory L2. This is a really good match for me. And um, I want to use it and move it to my collection. I have used it a little while because I was um, using it to review for a while. But she needs to know where her home is. Um, okay, I am not going to pull this this week. But I do want to shout it out real quick. This is the Catrice uh, Superwoman to be blush box. And it's in golden coral. I wore this in a video... 
which video? Oh, my VIP recommendations. And then I used it in a get ready with me. And you guys had a lot of questions about which blush it was. And it's this guy. And I believe it's only $5. But, um, yeah. Okay, that's all we're going to pull from here. Um, let's go to the next drawer. Okay, guys. I said last week I wanted to shout out you guys and also one... But I was thinking maybe one or more YouTubers for you guys to check out because I just think part of being on this platform is supporting other people, whether those people be your subscribers or other YouTubers that you watch. So, um, let's see. Mary Ella said thanks for the shout out. Mm -hmm, you're welcome, girl. You guys go check her out if you didn't. I shouted her out and linked her in my last video. Okay, Sherry Martinez is awesome. She was uh, saying how she loves minis, but she said the Hourglass minis are ripoff, full size 10 grams, and the minis are 1.4 grams. Huge difference. So, just so you guys know that, price wise, it's cheaper to get the Hourglass minis, but grams wise, it is not. Ooh! Helena, um, our niece, said, Awesome Aunt Abby, thank you so much for the makeup you and Uncle Jared get, got me. I will send you a picture of my first makeup style. Yes, honey, we want to see it. And Morty says hi. <laughs> hi, sweet. <laughs> Jared, Uncle Jared says hi, too. Um, oh, Lisa D. Lisa, I hope I'm not, like, confusing you with someone else, but Lisa if I'm correct, is, has been on a no-buy all year, and she's been killing the game because she's makeup obsessed like us. So she said, those were very nice shout-outs, and your channel is truly a place of fun, positivity, hur hooray for the coral obsessions, making a comeback. I want to use mine this week, too. Last week, I had fun with the Violet Voss Flamingo palette, and I'm planning to use it this week, too. Oh, here we go. Yes, I am correct. I didn't buy from the... Oh my gosh, the for sale. But the Drunk Elephant Sully, S-L-A-A-I, I think is how you say it, or I think I said it right, will probably be ordered and possibly a makeup brush. Maybe I'll use up some point perks too. Oh, and then she said, Jared is funny. Who said that? Lisa D. I love her. He said he loves you, Lisa. Uh, and he said that the... Oh, about Jared making the orgasm comment, orgasm sell or whatever. He said they're actually a point perk this week with the orgasm blush, but it's gone. So apparently he's right. <laughs> so love you guys. Um, we'll get back to the makeup, but we'll sh we'll shout out some YouTubers here in a minute. Jared just said they want more of me. They love me. Oh my gosh, guys, stop, stop! You're creating a monster. <laughs> Okay, last week I said that um, I was going to go ahead and pull my palettes in here, set me up for success, because I always forget about them. And so the one thing I want to use is, you guys know I love this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. I try so hard not to use it, because it's not available. Um, but, you know, I just love it. And actually, let me put back this Banana Brightening Powder from Catrice. We'll pull this another time. Because I really love using the um, diffuse light under my eyes. And dim is one of my favorites. So when this runs out, like, you know, if I get committed and use it up, that's definitely a color I would repurchase for under my eyes. I really like it. And then I love dim to set all of my makeup. And then we have a bronzer and a couple blush option. This highlight's just, like, really natural. So I like to layer it with something else, which is probably why... Abby last week pulled this guy. This is the Morphe Bretman Babe in Paradise, and this is what it looks like, and super um, pigmented, looks really nice. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they're not beaming, you know what I mean, but they're, they're hot. They're hot. So we'll pull this, and I honestly, if we're going to be realistic, don't need to pull any more blush or highlight or bronzer if we're being real here if we're being real here so let's go down to the next drawer okay guys uh, if um you follow me on instagram instagram i make life your own way with one underscore that's all beauty and then abbiest a-b-b-i-e-e-s-t that is private but you can request it that I, to, for me to follow you, you to follow me, what? <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, that one will be public soon, and it was, it's more where I talk about fitness and what I eat in a day, and I did a day in the life all on Instagram stories and all that kind of thing. So I'm very active on Abbeyist, and soon that one will become Make Life Fit, um, which is my uh, fitness business that I'm in the process of making happen. So, um, yeah. Oh, let me go ahead and throw on the screen some of the pictures. I did get to take my pictures last week for the business, and y'all, I'm looking at them like, is that me? Like, I'm not that cute. Like, who is she? So, photographer did a really, really great job. Um, I'm just like shooketh. You know what I mean? Okay, for eyeshadows, what do we have? We have nothing. We have nothing. Okay, okay. So, guys, it's been a minute, okay? Modern Renaissance, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's been a minute. So, I think it's time we take it back. We go back together and we use this, this little puppy, okay? So, that's, that's a for sure. Um, do we need more than that? I feel like not. Right? Pull one of the Steelers. Um, ooh, we haven't pulled this in a while. This might be an interesting mix with that palette, but this is the Cover FX in Amethyst. This came in <clears throat> BoxyCharm. A while back. Yeah, this month's boxy charm looks lame. And I feel like the makeup gods are like, girl, we know you're going through it with boxy charm. So we're just gonna we're gonna give you a month of not feeling temptation to help you heal. <laughs> I don't know why you guys watch me, to be quite honest with you, but anyways, we're gonna pull this and this is a um for your eyelids. Yes. Okay, you guys you guys knew that. Guys, I'm not technical enough to put my screen on the screen for you, so you're going to just look at my laptop. But for YouTube shoutouts, I thought I would just show you my watch history so you know like who I really love. And so, uh, Rainy Day, I didn't get to finish it, but Rainy Day Slay. Brianna Fox is like low-key so amazing. She has so many subscribers, but she's one of those YouTubers that no one really talks about. But like she's absolutely gorgeous. She's super chill. And, I don't know, I just feel like I could really hang out with her. Like, we could drink wine and talk about makeup, and then maybe buy makeup, and then maybe put the makeup on. You know? So, Brianna Fox, if you don't watch her, go watch her. She's mostly makeup, get ready with me's and hauls, so a little bit of an OG. Okay, the next one is me. Obviously, that's my Sephora haul. It's uploaded, but um, it's not live, and I have to do stuff to it. But I was just making sure it uploaded correctly. Um, you guys know I love Julie Dawson Olsen. She was on, um, uh, my very first subscriber shout out, which is how we connected. And we've been talking and she, I told, I don't typically talk about who my clients are unless they are open about it. And she posted a video about it, so I think it's fine. But she is one of my online, um, clients, so I am training her, which is super exciting. Um, she's killing the game. Okay, she's killing the game, but it was her ch chitty, chatty, ch what chitty? <laughs> chatty, get ready with me. I told y'all it's been a long day. I just had to stand in front of like 200 people. I'm like, <laughs> But anyways, um, she did a get ready with me, but also what's in my travel bag. I have like 10 more minutes to watch. I was watching it when I was getting ready, and I ran out of time. You'll see that a lot. I ran out of time when I watch videos. I have to go back and watch them. Okay, Julia Havens. Absolutely love her. Um, she does vlogs. She's the one that I was seeing in one of my videos. Works for Sephora. Um... Sephora brand. She does PR, so love her. And I'm going to talk about one more, one more, and then I'm done. This is the Budget Fam. She lives in a trailer, single wide, which I grew up in a trailer, fun fact. So, like, watching her, I feel like it's, I'm home in the summertime. Like, I don't know. But she does, like, cleaning. She's more lifestyle mom blog, but she's super sweet. Like, I feel like she, like, the... The person you watch in this video is, like, the person she is in real life. So, um, I'll have them all linked down below, but let's get back to the makeup. Okay, last but not least, we have this drawer here. Um, last week we had the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation Stick, and mine is in Soft Ivory. I'm gonna check out my makeup, because I have it on today, and she's still there. I mean, 
I don't really, I notice it breaking out a little bit, but I also have had it on my face for 13 hours. Yeah, so I'm not mad at it. Okay, since it is matte, I did end up mixing, mixing it in with some dewy foundations that are kind of living over there in my collection or my, you know what I mean, the basket thing. And then I also pulled the Too Faced Ethereal Powder. We're going to keep this. We're going to, we're yeah, she's she's coming back. Um, for primer, I'm gonna stick to the one that's in there that I'm trying to pan slash work through. So I think we're okay on that stuff. And okay, that's a primer. Thank you. That's a primer. Thank you. <laughs> Um, do I want another foundation? No, we're good on foundation. Okay, let's pull another primer. Um, let's go with this guy. This is the uh, Touch and Soul. What he just sneezed. Um, I hope that wasn't just out of focus, but this is uh, Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. So we'll we'll use this for the week. Um, this one, like I just want to use up this Maybelline Fit Me. But I have so many products over there that I'm trying to use up that I want to actually enjoy rotating products as well. Um, I didn't end up using some lip products from last week, the Wet n Wild one, so we, we're good here. And we already pulled our palettes. Should we set up for next week again? Yeah, let's put this Revolution one up here so we don't forget to grab it. But yeah, that is everything. Let's put it all together. Okay, I've been enjoying kind of putting this together with you guys. So at the very top, I've really been loving this Camo Elf um, foundation. And this one is in Fair Beige. And it's too light for me to use by itself. But I've been using my Project Pan Laura Mercier um, concealer directly under my eyes, which is a good color match. And then putting this one just around like the sides of my nose to bring brightness to the center of my face. And then I blend them in together and it is stunning, stunning. A couple of lip products. Um, this you'll see in my Sephora haul on Tuesday. A little sneak peek. I did get the Laneige, uh, lip glowy balm and grapefruit. We have some Project Pan items living in here. The Coconut Hello Fab Skin Primerizer thing. <laughs> Mary Kay Time Wise Luminous Wear. So some things that I'm just trying to use up and then other products that just live in here like the Stila um, Heavenly Hue and Kitten Beth Under Eye bright Brightener. Um, so we'll just add in this Touch and Soul Primer. And I think that's it because I have been liking just having my glass bottles of foundation sit to the side so they're not falling over and getting weird. Okay. <laughs> um, prong, two pro Project Pan bronzers and then Project Pan setting powder. So we're just going to add the hourglass. These are in order of how I apply them. If you're new here, hi. Make sure you subscribe. Um, more Project Pan items in here, but we're going to go ahead and add... Babe in Paradise, okay. Um, these are my setting powders, but I'm gonna go ahead and take out this Hourglass Dim since I have it in that palette. And um, I have Painterly by MAC, and then another Project Pan item, the Too Faced Festival Refresh. And then we are going to add in the Modern Renaissance and this little Hover Effects guy. This doesn't fit in anything, I don't think. Have I tried putting it in an empty drawer? Or... Oh, yeah, she don't fit. Okay. <laughs> and then down here, I don't really switch up my mascaras and stuff very much, so, or my eyebrow stuff, so that's in here. The Mega Volume Wet n Wild, y'all. <sighs> it's fine. For your bottom lashes, it's stunning. Take a, take a little work if you're going to wear it alone on your top lashes. But, yeah, I talk about those products a lot, so we'll just, we'll just not talk about them this week. But thank you all so much for watching. This was my basket. If you missed my Target haul, it will be linked down below. And check out those YouTubers. Thank you guys for your kind comments. You are the best. And, yeah, that's all. If you're new, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. 
Don't lose me in the YouTube world. Over. Okay. But that's all I have for you. I hope you're all well. Did I already say that? Okay, I'm gonna go eat now. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.